What's up, Pathways Church? Welcome to today's Daily Dose. It's Friday, and in just a couple of days, we'll be seeing each other together in church. I wanna share with you guys about this question that we've been asking all week. What wouldn't Jesus do? Jesus went to extreme lengths to love people and to care for people. And today we're gonna jump in Matthew chapter 14. This is right after Jesus fed 5,000 people. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side of the lake he's talking about, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you ever doubt? And when they climb into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshiped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. Jesus wouldn't abandon us. I have this image in my mind that on the cliffside, the hilltop, the mountaintop where Jesus was praying, that he had a good view of the entire lake. And this is a large lake. And I just assume for some reason in my mind that he sees the boat stuck in the water, not moving. And he realizes they need his help. And he comes to them to help them. And there's a couple of things that I see here. First, it reminds me that Jesus sees where we're at. He may not always be in the boat with us, and I'm gonna be honest, most of the time that's our fault and not his. But he may not be right there in the boat with us, but he sees the storm that we're in and he comes to us. And the second thing, Peter gets out of the boat, walks to Jesus, and then even while he's with Jesus, he sees all the circumstances around him. He sees the storm, he sees the wave, he sees the wind, and he gets scared and he starts to sink. He cried out, Jesus, help me. And Jesus grabbed him and pulled him out of the water. Even when we're close to Jesus, sometimes we have doubts and we have fear and it creeps in and it takes over. And Jesus is patient enough to not even care that our emotions got in the way for a second. He still wouldn't abandon us. He still reaches out even though he's right there with us, even though he's talking to us, even though he's made it clear that he's not gonna leave us, he still is patient enough that when we lose trust, he just reaches out and helps us. Now, when he got Peter out of the water, the storm was still raging. It's not until they got into the boat that everything calmed down. Jesus wouldn't abandon us. Now, I wanna suggest to you not to abandon the people that are going through storms in your life. It may be difficult. It may be almost impossible for some of them. It may be impossible for you to withstand that storm. But for one, Jesus is there with you and for you. And also, Jesus is there in you. The Holy Spirit living inside of us so that we can be that miracle for someone else. So live and stay in the storms with people. Don't abandon Jesus' people that he cares so much about. It's important for us to reach people and to ask this question, what wouldn't Jesus do when it comes to sharing his love, sharing his story, and sharing his purpose of reconnecting us with God? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week on The Daily Dose. I'll see you guys on Sunday morning.